Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I have got a bumper edition of brand new patterns out for September. Oh my goodness, there is just so much here that is really tempting me at the moment and I know a lot of you guys are going to feel the same way. I am all about really enjoying the thought of making some dresses before heading into spring summer here in Australia. And I know a lot of you in the Northern Hemisphere are probably looking for some more cozy layering options. There's all sorts of patterns here. I think you're gonna love uh, all the indie ones that I've chosen. Uh, thank you for stopping by here as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, my name's Kristen. This is the Dahlia Society where we talk about all things to do with creating and sewing your own wardrobe, fabrics and pattern inspiration. Uh, and I need to tell you guys all something that I received in the store that's quite fascinating, a brand new Gutterman thread that's called Mariflex. I am stocking it online. I know a lot of you had gone on to purchase over the weekend and just about cleared all of the colors out. I am actually getting more in as well. If you haven't heard of the Mariflex thread, this thread actually comes in quite, a, I think it's about three other, I think the Metla uh, and Seriflex also have the similar kind of composition and it's 80% stretch. So that means that you don't need to get the overlocker or serger or cover stitch out. If you want to sew on your straight stitch machine, you have now got the freedom to use your regular sewing machine with a straight stitch, so not even a zigzag, and you'll get a stretch up to 80% stretch out of that thread. So how amazing is that? It's really caused a bit of a revolution. I know a lot of uh, people are just fascinated to want to try it. Um, so I'm actually making a dress at the moment. I'm making myself a... Frankie dress by Tazuti Patterns and I'm making it with a beautiful French terry. So I'm going to be using it and testing it out and letting you guys know exactly how I found it. And I know a, a, one of my lovely viewers, Naomi, actually sent me a message on Instagram to say that there's a great tutorial by So Very Easy over in the States. Uh, and that tutorial just shows you how to go about sewing it on a regular sewing machine. So how brilliant and exciting is that? So I know a lot of stores in Australia haven't got it in yet, um, but if you're interested, head over to the store and I'll I will be stocking a bigger range of um, all colors. There's more coming soon. As well as that, there's also a new Goodman uh, Deco stitch or Deco stitch, which is like a three or four color intertwined stitch for doing things like uh, lovely decorative top stitching. So there's a few new things in the store. So we'll talk a bit about that later on. But uh, brand new patterns, before I get started on that, I wanna let you know what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing one of my favorite makes from winter and that is the Grab a Cuppa cardigan from Pattern Emporium. One of my favorite makes in a sweater or jogger fleece. Uh, I made the cropped version in this one. And underneath I have got a Besties tee from Pattern Emporium that I made about three years ago now in a lovely uh, jersey from Dupe Design. It's a really lovely, bright, geometric kind of print. So I've also got on, which you can't see on the bottom here, is the Pleats to Meet You pants in a black. And this is my go-to outfit at the moment because I love feeling comfortable, but also looking not too bad, not too bad, like put together. I feel like I've still, um, I'm still presentable, but I also feel comfortable like I've got a tracksuit on. So. Let's get started. There's so many amazing new patterns. Oh my goodness, every time I, I think I've got a list made up, I just keep seeing more and more. And it's so hard when you have so many patterns and you think, yeah, I'm pretty right for patterns. I don't need any for a while now. And then a new one comes out and you just think, no, I, I need this. This is so unusual and different. Um, so starting off with an Aussie designer called Marsha Style. I know a lot of you know Marsha Style because I have made a few of her dresses before. I love her patterns. Uh, her Aaliyah dress was featured in one of my bespoke boxes back in uh, May. She's actually got a new pants pattern out. This is a really lovely um, pant pattern because of the way it's designed with kind of like that hip yoke sort of flat pleats on the front now she says you can wear them they're called the alexis pants by the way don't let me forget that so if you wear them in your regular size you wear them as a high-waisted pair of pants but if you upsize and wear them a bit bigger you can have them more of a slouchy finish so it's got a really lovely pleating a really interesting design i think these would look fantastic um, just with a nice shirt or top tucked in as well so a great pattern there and also her size range is also fantastic so uh, really uh, interesting and unique designs coming from Marsha style patterns. 
Uh, the next new release was a really, really big one and it's a retro release by So Different Patterns. This one has got me so captivated because there's not just one, there's like four or five different patterns from this range. Um, so So Different Patterns come from sizes 8 to size 26, it's in UK sizes. The first couple, they're all named after kind of 70s inspired, so getting the retro. So the first one is the Darjeeling, as in the tea, uh, wrap dress. This is a stunning wrap dress with a slight curve appeal to it as well. And there's never enough wrap dress patterns. I think if you're like me and you tend to find them a really lovely shape and really flattering on the figure, I think this one is a really lovely one to add to the collection. And I love how she's used all fabric godmother fabrics to show these off to, to their all in all their glory because the uh, Fabric Godmother prints are just so beautiful and retro inspired. The next one is called the Fender Smock Dress and that's just a beautiful easy wear style smock dress uh, with a really lovely uh, kind of A-line style to it and I think this would be beautiful in a nice bold print. Uh, the other one is a gathered waist style with a bit of a sleeve. It's called the Ripple Dress. That one is also really lovely and you can see the unique prints they've shown off. Uh, that one would be just so gorgeous and easy to wear. One that I'm really eyeing off is the Chamomile Caftan, of course another T there. It's a smock style caftan. This is a really beautiful wearable style. I love a good caftan or tunic style dress or top so you could do a top in this as well. I think it's got a lovely front, that little kind of a dip in the, in the front of the neck's also really really pretty. Um, there's also a strappy uh, dress called the Fleetwood dress and this has got a nice wide strap on the dress as well. Done it in a really beautiful print. It's got a lovely shaping to the waistline there as well. And there's also a really lovely jacket which would be fantastic for popping over that strappy dress. It's called the Sunrise Jacket and that gives you the option to be really creative with your fabric mixing and matching um, the way she's done almost like patchwork um, styling and inset of fabric in that is just so beautiful. So what an amazing collection from So Different Patterns. Really keen to try one of these. Now I haven't sewn any of her patterns before and I would love to hear if you have a favourite pattern from So Different Patterns that you want to share or if you've gone ahead to buy any of these I'd love to hear which one appeals to you guys the most because I just love them all and I could really see them all in my wardrobe. Another new pattern release that was really interesting was from uh, the Assembly Line Patterns, which is a great Scandi pattern company, some beautiful modern patterns. It's a crop style jacket with a collar, really neat, lovely crop style for wearing over a dress. I think it would be perfect or a high-waisted pair of pants. Great size range as well on the Assembly Line Patterns. And of course, they are the ultimate in patterns for a modern woman or even for workwear, things that you want a nice classic shape pattern that you maybe want to do some plain bold colors in as well they work really well uh, and I know my daughter Phoebe has got a couple of their patterns she loves their um, cuff tops as well that they're such a great versatile easy pattern to make especially if you want to show off a nice print so I could vouch for their patterns and they're really lovely and they come in a beautiful envelope if you're purchasing the paper envelope a lovely big um, bold kind of envelope but I love their patterns they're really beautiful. Now a beautiful sleepwear pattern that's come out is from Jennifer Lauren Patterns it's called the Luna Lounge Set now this is also fantastic just for lounging around the house in not necessarily just for PJs. Size range on this is 6 to 24 and that comes from an A to a D cup and then the size range 16 to 34 is from a C to an F cup so a great fantastic size range there with some really great bust options. Um, um, so this comes in a couple of different styles. The elasticized pants are brilliant. You can either choose from the V-neck blouse style button through pajama top or the smock style. Um, both of these work equal as well uh, in a lovely woven fabric. I think we'll just do this really um, some justice and it's actually a really lovely pattern to make as a gift set for someone and I think even as a maternity set um, the smock style top would be beautiful as well. Yeah. Stylark has also come out with a um, crop style jacket similar to the assembly lines pattern called the Smith woven jacket. A really lovely little cropped style easy wear jacket. Size range there is 4 to 30 and they've got pictured with it a, a lovely wider leg style jean called the Carlisle jeans. Now these look really classic. I know the wider leg jean is coming back in and I would think that would look just so lovely as a set and very versatile versatile and easy to wear. The other pattern that they released just last month was called the Jerry Dress and this looks beautiful in a denim. It's actually got lovely princess seaming through so a really lovely shape 
but in front would definitely be great in a classic colour. These penny style dresses are so versatile for layering in the wardrobe and just wearing over the top of a polo top, uh, but also great to wear into summer. And I think the button front denim would be just beautiful for all year round. Uh, another new pattern of the month that was released from Nina Lee Patterns was called the Carmel Jumpsuit. This is so pretty. Now, I'm not normally a huge fan of jumpsuits, but I've got to say on a hot day, I can imagine this being such a versatile pattern in a nice floaty viscose. It's got a really lovely wide leg. Um, it says medium to lightweight woven, so I think just about anything, even a linen would be beautiful, linen rayon blend. The two size ranges it comes in is either 6 to 20 or 16 to 28. And this has a few different options. It's got either a scoop neck, a V neck or like an add-on really lovely like a drop style collar which is just so reminiscent of the uh, the 80s early 80s patterns I think this is really really pretty and this is also great for layering for anyone going into the cooler seasons as well be great for wearing a long sleeve top under too so she's done so well with her upsizing of her patterns I just think this pattern is a standout and it looks really comfortable Another new pattern, of course, my, one of my favourite pattern companies over in New Zealand is the Sewing Revival. And you know that one of my favourite patterns of all time, the Heron Blouse, this is where that comes from. Janine, Janine over at the uh, Sewing Revival has come out with a beautiful dress. And if you have ever made the Stitch Bird dress, you will love this because it's got a very similar pleat front. It's called the Dovetail Dress. And it's reminiscent, of course, of the dovetail and the way that it unfolds with that pleating in the front. It's a really lovely fitted bust line. And then when just the bust line hits, it has this really lovely opened up pleat so that the fabric sort of opens up and gives you that lovely ease throughout the A-line skirt. And it also has an option for the pleat at the back as well. So if you want to do the pleat front and back, you can or if you just want to do the pleat at the front, you can do that too. Now, I am definitely making one of these. I've just downloaded the pattern myself because I will be getting in some beautiful cotton linens in the next couple of weeks. Hang in there. They are going to arrive uh, very shortly, of course, for the height of spring. Some gorgeous Nerida Hansen prints are on their way. So I am seeing one of the particular patterns that I've chosen, particular prints, in this dovetail dress and I can't wait to make it and show you guys. I love the way they've styled it too with a top for underneath if you want to layer it because we all love that pinnies you can do that and the gorgeous sleeveless style you can actually add on a sleeve as well so it gives you that option for making something for the cooler weather. Um, be beautiful for wearing into the winter with a pair of boots and a nice cardigan on. So uh, size range on that is small to extra large um, but I really love Janine's patterns. I think they always look fantastic on and off but I've never made a sewing uh, revival pattern that I haven't loved um, so definitely go and head over and look at that pattern. The other wowzer of a pattern that was released just last week this one just blew me away because I just thought wow this is just so ethereal looking and it is called the ether dress or ether dress ever ether I'm thinking ethereal because the pattern fantastic uh, pattern company and of course you guys will remember the valley dress it was just a huge hit last year and I made one of these and loved it this is something really special now the design and thought that's gone into this is just incredible uh, it is for specifically for a lightweight woven and she's used the inspiration from this dress pattern from a lovely cloud-like seersucker fabric that she had and she wanted to make something to use in this fabric. Uh, what I love is that she's used a rope style fabric to intertwine with the dress and to make beautiful, um, it pulls down like straps at the back and you can lower the back down with this particular rope or you can just use the fabric and make your own ties. But it gives you the option of having it with this gorgeous sort of frill at the front on the shoulders or with just the strappy design and it is just a gorgeous um, stunning floaty dress I can really imagine this floating around on a really hot day in like a nice gauzy style fabric as well so very simple but definitely something uh, I think I can see that uh, it would be such a wearable item to have in the wardrobe and I really can't wait to make this dress as well for summer it's definitely one that I want to make. Now Barbara Amodi has got a wonderful book out that I've um, 
shown you guys in the past, one of my favourite sewing books, she always says that sea sucker fabric in a nighty is the most comfortable thing you'll ever wear. But you've got to make sure you find the cotton sea sucker because there are a lot of sea suckers out there that are just uh, polyester blend that don't breed as well. But a cotton sea sucker is just such a beautiful fabric to wear on the skin. The last pattern I have for you today is from Pattern Room. It's called the Clio dress. There's a smock style dress size 10 to 28. They are really starting to ramp up their dress patterns. Some really unique beautiful patterns coming out as well as that there's the cherry dress so I'm not sure how long ago they released that but that one looks beautiful as well so many wonderful patterns coming out we've got a few dresses we've got a few jackets there's a bit of everything for everyone there I think there'll be something there hopefully that's caught your attention uh, and also there is a brand new fiber mood mag coming out in the next couple of weeks that I'll be making a pattern from I love their patterns too there's so many and when we get to choose uh, in the little sewing circle that we're in we get to see the patterns coming out and every time I see the fiber mood mag patterns I'm just like oh how am I going to decide to, which one to make because they're all so beautiful and so wearable um, but gee their, their dresses and blouses are just so lovely and such a lovely styling behind them as well the mags are always beautifully um, photographed too so, so some great cool. patterns there for the month of September I'm excited to be getting new fabrics into the store because I can't wait to, to be making some of those up and definitely need to feel it to brighten up the mood a bit uh, and to make some dresses and blouses I think will be really exciting so thank you for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed new patterns for September. And if you have enjoyed this episode and you want to see more like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps other people like you find the channel. Have a wonderful sewing week. I'll be back to show you some new fabrics, hopefully towards the end of the week. And don't forget the bespoke box for September, which is the Secret Garden, is launching on Sunday, September the 11th at 7 p.m. So limited numbers in those. Don't forget to jump online if you want to order one of those. And we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.